The first agenda item is citizen comments. Are there any? I don't see any. I don't have any additions to or deletions from the posted agenda. Uh, does anyone have anything? Okay, so that brings us to the manager's report, Eric. All right, um, thank you very much. Uh, so this is only my fifth day since I've been here. Uh, so the report will be kind of short, um, but I spent the last few days uh, really trying to meet with all the staff uh, in the town and village. Um, so I'm with the town hall staff, I'm with the DPW staff. Uh, DPW director took me on a tour of the town and village, uh, showing me the plow routes, the issues they have there. Um, I was able to sit with the firefighters last night during one of their monthly meetings um, and the police officers as well. Um, really just kind of get a sense of the staff here and what they're going through, what the, the needs they have and how they best can support them. Um, I met with the state rep, Tesha Bush, yesterday, kind of talk about how we can build a relationship uh, going forward, uh, ask her to do help with the grants for the town and village. Um, and I'm working on a plan to get out in the community um, at least twice a month, um, which I'll hopefully have more details coming soon once I get settled. Um, but that's it for now. And I'm excited to be here and work with everyone. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, we have two permit applications. The first one is the Covered Bridges Half Marathon, which I see. I can't read the name, but I see Nancy. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Um, um, I'm assuming the route is about the same as it's been the last few years it looks that that's correct it's the exact same uh track um it goes from saskadena six through woodstock and then um down river road and then on to Queechy main street and it finishes at the uh dewey pool polo fields in Queechy. I'm happy to move that we grant the permit. Okay, excellent. So there's a motion to grant the permit. No second. second. Okay, second by Harry. Harry. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. That motion carries. Um, is there, the only thing I don't see in the packet is the um, insurance certificate, which right I'm sure here. you have. It's there. Right yes, there. Yes. All right, perfect. Then we're all set. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Fingers crossed for another great year. Yes, yes indeed. Yes. <clears throat> um, next item is a liquor license for FH Gillingham's and Sons. It's done electronically. There's no signatures on it. Uh, it's all automatic through the state now. Yeah, I was. I actually had some questions partly because of the new format. Um, I know that you know the business role isn't filled out. The uh, there's no answer to violations. Um, there's no location premises, and there are two Frank Billings. My guess is the one on Elm Street should be taken off. If, if that's the judge, he can qualify. Well, Elm Street. Bond Street. Bond Street. Okay. Okay. So, so maybe they have store, right? Maybe yeah. they just have Frank Billings twice. I see driver and yes. Frank three and Frank. Frank the third and regular. Yeah. Three. So I don't know. I just, I guess I had questions probably more due to the new format about mm -hmm. whether or not yeah. this is complete. Right. Um, I don't know if anyone is here from Billings. Doesn't look like it. Thank Billings. No, it looks like there's no. Um, violations, I think, I mean, I don't know of any violations from them i know i know i just so, so i don't know but with the format i don't know if it means there's right. none so there's none listed exactly or if it was just omitted because of an error with the system well i'm happy to move it i guess conditioned on on i think it goes to the town clerk first and just having <laughs> the town clerk verify that yeah. it's complete because he can maybe see things electronically that we can't see yeah i can check in with them yeah so okay. i would second that motion Okay. Motion by Susan, best second by Carrie to approve it conditionally, and I'll follow up with the town clerk. And just for a time, uh, the public does saying that uh, Woodstock also has an ordinance that requires you to have a fire safety inspection. So within this process, the panel will approve it, it will come to the state, 
then it comes back to the town clerk to be laminated. And if you don't get that fire inspection or it's not correct, that will be held up and you will not receive your liquor license. So should we condition it on that as well? No, you can approve it. That's okay. internal with the fire department. We just we won't let the the license go out. Okay. All right. So that is ready for uh vote. So all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, so the motion carries and I'll follow up with Charlie. Thank you. Uh so for old business, we just wanted to put the town hall rejuvenation discussion on the board. Um just to keep it in everyone's um, <clears throat> focus that um, hopefully we can get this project moving forward. Well, I would like them, I mean, we haven't heard from them yeah. since we appointed the committee and I think that they should be coming back and giving us a report. So do we, we would, would we like to ask for I, a report? I think that um, I talk to Charlie okay. and they're having a meeting next week. Okay. So <laughs> that we should up. Uh, should we ask for an update yes. maybe in uh March? Yes. At the I March think so. at, yes. at our March meeting. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I was at a meeting today at two o'clock with one of the, someone from the committee. Okay, so we we'll can you ask them to come to our uh, March evening meeting. Yep. <laughs> That'll oh March evening meeting. Yeah. Because um, I don't want to do what Rick's we're talking about. Well, that uh, they will have to um, do the um, March evening meeting. Yeah. That's um, the village meeting day. Oh, so that we, so we might need to, to reschedule. Maybe we'll, yes, maybe we'll do it in my uh, morning. Okay. Um, because. We, so we'll have to address that. Yes. At our yes. next February meeting. Okay. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Mary. Uh, <laughs> So new business first item is the EDC community grants. Okay. Um, so the you have in your packet the EDC held our annual meeting um, what about ten days ago. We we put, we had several changes. The most important change for this year versus last year, everything was the same except that we limited the funding to $100,000 so that we could use the rest of our funding for mm -hmm. our major initiatives and priorities. The community grants were not limited to our priority areas, although we preferred grant that was in those areas, which are marketing, housing, downtown uh, rejuvenation, child care, and events. Um, we would you know, um, prefer those. We received 12. Um, Application. I don't know if you have copies of all 12. I can tell you. Oh, you do. Yes, on that summary sheet, Joe, that you're listed. This year? Yeah. So all 12 are listed there. We approved seven. I'll just briefly tell you about the seven. Um, the the ones that I think don't require any discussion, or you're welcome to ask questions, are are we approved uh, a WAMBA event, the mountain bike mm -hmm. biking uh, event? Excellent. It's going to bring a lot of people to uh, Woodstock. Uh, we approved. Uh, an expansion of the Otaquichi River Trail to improve accessibility. They're going to make it accessible to people with wheelchairs for a certain portion of that. And there's a fair bit of construction that has to be done. Um, and we approved supporting uh, production from Barn Arts in the Town Hall Theater. It's the first time we've done sort of an artistic, well, it's an event, I guess. It's a very small grant of $2,000 to help support part of their costs for putting that show on. Um, those three, then there are a couple that, uh, sorry, we, we, then there are a couple that might, that where there was some interesting discussion, which we approved. The first one were two grants to the chamber, one for the beautification, for putting up the lights around the uh, green, and the second for supporting Wassel Weekend again, basically busing to improve the parking situation. The, everyone supported these. We were, and we decided that every year we support the and tell people that we're only going to do it for one year, but we keep doing it every year. And we've decided this year to stop telling people that we will only do it for one year because for certain things, and these are the only things that we've identified so far, mm -hmm. for certain things, they're not that expensive. Everyone in the town wants it. It, it addresses downtown rejuvenation. And so we decided to no longer object to sort of a perpetual funding of these small items. And so we've decided to 
to do that. And we will clarify our policy over the course of the official. But we approved those two grants. Um, similarly, we approved a grant for book stock for sort of the same reasons. This is the second time they came back to us. Last year, we gave them a $20,000 grant. This year, we gave them, we're giving them a $20,000 grant. But they've assured us, they told us last year that they might come back for a second year. We told them, well, our policy is not to do that, but we keep doing it. And we decided to do it this year again. They, I don't think they're going to come back to us again, and I don't think they'll leave recurring funding. We have insisted in the case of Bookstock that they use some of the funds to keep count of the number of people who come so that we can identify in the future whether there's any growth, because what we're interested in is growth. Um, the second one, the other item, the only other item that had some interesting discussion and on which we put a, a, a requirement, a condition, was we decided to fund the school districts, a new position in the school district fundraising manager. They're looking obviously to raise funds for building the new school. Um, this is not, the school budget isn't part of, you know, your responsibility, but we think having uh, uh, very strong schools is a very strong lever for economic development. We also think that a position of fundraising manager is something that will help the Woodstock taxpayers because it's every dollar that they raise is a dollar that we don't have to pay in, or is 50 cents at least if we don't have to pay in school taxes. They asked for $39,000, which is funding a portion of the position. We said that we would give them 60% of that outright and that we would give them the rest on the condition that they came back to us with a program that would describe how they will reach out to the six other communities that are part of the school district and request their portion of the funding. We told them that they that we're not making the grant contingent on them getting the funding from the other towns because then they wouldn't be able to hire the person. <laughs> and we felt, to be honest, that it was worth it even if we had to pay for the whole thing. It would be unfair, but it would be worth it. But we require that they request from the other six towns that their municipal governments fund the remaining $15,000. And they agreed to that. Can I ask a question on that? Yeah. What happens next fiscal year uh, for to pay for that salary? So this this is a one year grant. Okay. The, all of these grants are one one time. If they wanted, and so for the ones that we're repeating, they're reapplying. Well, I mean, the person they're going to hire. Oh, I don't. That's their decision. Okay. Now. I suspect. I can only speak for myself that this is not something that, like, the lights that we would fund on an ongoing basis. I can't commit the yeah. agency to that. But for me personally, I would say. Look, you needed to have built this into the school budget. Yep. You know, you had a year to do that. We we were generous in the first year. So, but that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. I, we do feel strongly that supporting the schools this is the second grant that we've given to the school system over the last five years. The first, you know, so we think that school is part of economic development. But anyway, that I know, thank you. So those are the those are the grants. They they total ninety seven thousand five hundred dollars. Um, the other grants that we received. Right, Anyway, if you have any questions, I can let you know about those. But um, I have some questions on the uh, Adequichi River Trail. Yeah. Has that been run by the village or the town at all? H has it been on, run by the insurance? I, I, my concern is, you know, um, and I asked this the other night when you were, when this was being discussed, but. Has this been run by the uh, Vermont Department of Disabilities to make sure this is all going to not start up a, a spiral with more work to be done? And I'm not sure where the trailhead starts. Does it start on on the top of East End, or does it start down by the river? It starts at the top of East End, like where the Puma lot goes down to what was the jungle. <laughs> okay. Then you go further towards Sunset Farms, and it's right there on the left. All right. I, I just think we need to make sure that. I think that's what he's talking about. I, I just think we need to make sure that this is being done correctly and under the ADA guidelines. Okay, I, that's obvious. I would say three things. One is that's obviously a, a good requirement. Two is 
not knowing, and I'm going to three is going to be, we'll follow up and we'll make this a condition of approval. But I will say that this project of all the projects that we've funded is there's no project that's better run than this project. They've come back to us for three or four grants. It's they're doing an extremely good job. However, that doesn't answer your question. So I will, if we'd like, we could make yeah, this additional. Just contract. for clarification, Ray, do you mean for access to the trail from the parking lot area? Or do you mean just just anything, you know, whenever you and and I've dealt with this a lot in my past, whenever you start something with the ADA, you have to make sure that everything is in compliant parking spaces, you know, how to get there, the, 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 the pitch. Uh, I mean, there's a lot involved. It's not just making an area and saying this is going to be ADA accessible. Right. OK, so um, the, you referenced the Vermont. Department of Disabilities, do they provide yeah, guidance mean, on? Just right. guidance. I mean, you know, what, what are they, is the, there's a, a department, there's in a Department of Natural Resources, they have a disability office, I think. Okay. You, you know, just, just to make sure we're doing this correctly. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Are we, can we work to, we uh, very well work with an ADA law by a lot of us. Okay, so should we could we make this an conditional on uh, Tom working with David and David saying that it's appropriate approved? Yeah, and then if any if there's any further questions that come up, he'll just address them as as a. There's a lot of gray area. Yeah, I have a Perfect. Perfect. So then, um. We can approve these seven yeah, yeah. one singular motion, right? Uh, yes. And then yes. that singular motion can include a request to have follow up on the um, Ottaquichi River Trail ADA accessibility. Okay. And, okay. We, and, and I think we also need to have our insurance company be aware of it, just in case some, you know. I know VLCT has been down to the East End Park and reviewed it. I don't know about the Ottawichi River Trail. Right. No, I'm just talking about, yeah, I don't think they have either, but we're adding this, I think, just. No, I, 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 I think mean, we need to have the insurance company be aware of it. The, 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 it's Dave, the town's insurance. Ray, uh, Dave just pointed out that the Ottawichi River Trail is not town owned project or land so i don't our insurance wouldn't cover it okay so none of that's on the town property none of it's on the town property no the town property ends before it begins okay uh, yeah we own the other side of that folder right the trail head is on the private side right okay so if that's the case, then I, I will advise Tom to talk to Dave. Yeah. But do we need to have that as a, a condition? That's fine. So any new feature installed, whether it's walking paths, you know, playground is required by law to be private or public. Private. Okay. So then, if it's open, to be public. Got it. So okay. then, would the condition should be attached to it? Yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah. I entertain that motion. Ray, do you want to make the motion? I'll make the motion to approve the EDC grants with the condition that uh, the Adequichi River Trail meets with David to make sure this meets all the ADA requirements. Okay, seconded by Mary. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Okay. Uh, motion carries. Thank you. Um, just while we're on EDC business, yep. uh, we I don't know that we need to do this officially, but one EDC member asked that I do this so that it's reflected in the minutes. <laughs> uh, at the last, not the last meeting, but the last time we came before you, the, you set a condition on our child care grants that mm -hmm. we review the legality. Um, we have done that, and uh, we've sent you, I think, the communications, Joe. I don't know. If yeah, I forwarded it. it to the board. Yeah. Okay, so that is now been agreed to and therefore we are proceeding with that grant. Yep, right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so from the solicitor's office, we have a certificate of approval for no appeal or suit pending. Um, my understanding is this just means that um, town-wide, the solicitor's office is not involved in 
lawsuits or have any appeals or pending, and then we just certify to the state. And your office has already signed this, so we just need to distribute this among the select board to sign and return to you, and you send it to the state. Right. Okay. Um, is there any questions on that? All right. Um, I don't even think we need a motion. We'll just um, have. We can doc you sign this, Nikki. Mm -hmm. So we'll just send this around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll Thank get you. it to you. Thank you. Um, I don't have any other business. To, uh, we have to do um, approve the sewer rate. No, I mean, oh, other, other business. Yeah. Okay. Just as the agenda. Right. Um, so moving forward, we have the approval of the sewer rate, um, which is actually less than last year. Um, So the sewer rate for this year is eleven point forty eight per dollars per um, hundred cubic feet, um, and the next two items are um, two different examples. Well, we have to approve the uh, sewer rate before we go yes. to the other item. No, no, that's what I'm talking about, right? Oh, okay. There's two. There's two example utility bills in our packet. Uh, that because the the format of the utility bill has changed so just it's just there for our reference right nikki correct yeah um just so we can see it um but the sewer rate itself that um consumption detail page is the same as it's as it's been in the past just the uh the rate actually went down this year yes. uh, it was in the 13 last year was 13.13 13. yeah 1314 yeah. yeah. And I think that's because the usage was so down yeah. um, during COVID, during shutdowns when the right. inn and everybody was shut down. So everybody kind of got tagged for right. that. Yep. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, so I would entertain a motion to, um, to approve the sewer rate. So moved. Okay. Is there a second? Second. I'll second, second, it. second by Mary. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Super consumption rate has been approved, which brings us to Joe. Various... Joe, before yeah. we go, uh, before we get further into this, um, I'd like to, um, for our next meeting, have a discussion on um, having uh, a payment plan, three three uh, payments for the sewers, so we can spread the payments out over the year. Um, I spoke to John a little bit about this, and uh, if we start, if we get two payments, we could start putting that money and collecting interest, and we could base the payments on last year's sewer bill with the third sewer bill being due in March 1st and having that adjusted to reflect the exact amount of the sewer bills. Do you mean billing ahead? Yes. Oh, thank you. We can do that. And I think he's just asking that we put it on a future agenda to discuss. And I think one yeah, of the I'm not saying I'm not saying to discuss it now. I'm saying let's put I'd like to get it on the agenda for the next meeting. We can discuss it, but we can't bill ahead. I don't think. Why can't we? We do with taxes. I mean, your tax bill is yeah. due in November, and that covers July through the end of December. So it's partly billing ahead. So I don't know, but I think these bills are technically a little bit ahead because we send them out like now, for example, right. and right. it's July first, twenty twenty two to June thirtieth, twenty twenty. Right. So, so we're billing little... ahead now. So I don't see what the problem is, and with the sewer commission, we can make the rules. I think we need to also though look at the expense of doing that, yeah. um, both in staff time and postage. Yes. You know, I know when it was discussed before, we weren't going to have any, it was going to just be voluntary. Mm -hmm. You know, there, it, there wasn't going to be a penalty or interest if you didn't make that right. payment. Well, that, that's why and I want I'm to just, have a discussion. Yeah. So I think we okay. need to maybe also know what the expense would be, both in staff time, postage, extra printing, things like that, to make yep. sure that we're not spending more than the potential. No, I agree. Okay. Um, so we'll put a... 
agenda item under other business for the February meeting. We're, we're gonna yeah, our our yeah, I know. Like next year, because we were going to send out the bills this week. Yeah, so yeah I mean, we have, no. oh, okay. No. No. I mean, yeah, we don't want to hold up billing. No. Yeah. No, the, the bills can go, the, this year's bills can go out. This has no effect on this year's bills. Okay. 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 Um, we are. So maybe we could do it in March. Would that be too late to do it in March? Because the February meeting, I think, is going to. Yeah. No, we could do it in March. Okay. No, it doesn't have to be done in February, but I just want to get it on the agenda at some point. Okay. All right, so sewer billing. Um, so approve the sewer rate. So that there's a sewer payment request for 8 Ford Street. Um, which... I read this, it seems like it wasn't an issue, like my normal thing with mm -hmm. it getting missed at real estate closings. It doesn't look like that applied here. It looked like it was a problem with our system that they didn't get the bill. So I feel like we that, that should be abated if it was okay. our error. All right. Does anyone else have any comments on that? No. Nope. Uh, all right. I'd entertain a motion. I'll move. We abate one hundred and forty-one dollars and twenty-one cents. Okay. I'll yeah. second that. All right. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Uh, that motion carries. Uh, so approval of minutes one seventeen and one twenty. Three. There's um, one thing. Um, 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 the um, yeah. right here. Okay. Um, Miss Cole, um, the support oh, of funny. approving Bridgewater's funding as well. It's funding. So we need a D there. Yes. That's <laughs> all. No, that's all. Cole's in favor of funding. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, so everything else looked good to me. Yes. Yep. Um, so I didn't you know, to approve both of those. Yeah. Um, I think Mary yeah, made, so Mary's made the motion. Is there a second? No, second. Second by Susan. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So quick before we adjourn, um, we would like to discuss at the at our next meeting, I'm going to set aside 10 to 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes, um, to hear community comments on uh, ideas for ARPA spending and requests. Might be more than that. It might be more than that. <laughs> if uh, I can make a suggestion, yeah, um, we could set up an online survey, okay, and have residents uh, and business owners go in and suggest what they want in the survey and then we can kind of put it all together and have a discussion afterwards of great. the top priorities. That'd be wonderful. Okay. We have, a, a, Joe and I had discussed and we have some bullet items that you know yeah. we think should be on the list. I don't know if it's helpful to put those out for people first. Yeah, I think it'd be good to put you know the board's priorities and then have also an option for people to put their own. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I think that would be great. A lot of towns have been doing yeah. You know, a lot of reach out for that yes. for that money. And Nikki, you can share a Word document that you can type in in real time on the screen. Yeah. So we could probably even realistically use the, the screen like a, uh, a like, a, like a whiteboard, um, so we can take notes in real time. Yeah. Um, so I'll put that pretty early on on the agenda for our next meeting. And we'll get to you with. The list yeah. that yeah. we had discussed, and I don't know if other board and and get it to the I have, board. I talked to Mary after we talked, but I haven't talked to Mary here yet. Okay. Yeah. And if that meeting's going to be moved, we just need right. to know because everyone I have... won't be moved. It'll be the March one. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So we should okay. we should be all set. Um. um February February twenty first. Okay. We'll good. still be at six. We'll yeah. still be at six. The March one, whenever that is. Well, we'll that look at. March is. Town meeting, yeah, day. meeting day. Yeah, no town meeting, no town meeting day, day. But it's March seventh. Um, okay. Yes. And, and that, and then village meeting day is twenty second, twenty first, and that's village meeting day. 
Right. And we don't, we do not do that. No. That, and, and, um, that. Mm -hmm. But is there a meeting during the day or at night? <laughs> well, it's at night meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And um, we might do that today, the day. So maybe we do it, just move it to 10 a.m. or something. Yeah. So I also thank you everyone for waiting for me. I was running late. I got stuck at the office a little bit. So thank you. That's all right. But I think we're ready to adjourn if no one has anything else. Motion to adjourn. All right. And second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Motion carries. Aye. Welcome, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> um, talk to Chip. Bye. Here, on the